Good morning and uh, welcome here on this uh, wonderful, beautiful Saturday morning to uh, morning prayer. We're going to use a uh, BCP today, use um, uh, morning prayer in its traditional form, as it says. Uh, I hope this finds you well and good heart and good spirits. I do apologize, I just jumped out of the shower, so um, that's why I might look a little bit bedraggled. I'm not quite sure I'm wearing the right shirt. It might all kind of uh, be very plain to see. Um, uh, yes, it might all be very plain to see. Oh, I've just been in the shower. Um, as I say, I hope this finds you in good heart and in good spirits, ready for this uh, this lovely day. The sun is shining, and uh, I hope that uh, you get a chance to enjoy that sunshine today. Just a few quick notices. Uh, there is um, services tomorrow at half past nine in, at Stanton and at Stratton, and then 11 o'clock at South Marston with our service online at 10 o'clock on Facebook. We oh, have a look, yes, find all the different bits. If you are on the app for morning prayer this morning, if you, mine finally fires up, if you click on the menu bottom at the bottom, it will, uh, on the menu at the bottom, you will see that it says, um, oh dear me, you will see that it says switch to traditional form or something like that. Um, yeah, switch to traditional. If you're on the website, if you're on the website and you, um, on the first page, where it says come and join us, you can switch, you can uh, go to op more options, I think it is, choose today's date and traditional language. Let's just have a moment of quiet as we recognise that we come into Almighty God's presence. If you scroll down a little bit, I'm going to choose, I've chosen the, the second of the introductions. Beloved, we are come together in the presence of Almighty God and of the whole company of heaven to offer unto him through our Lord Jesus Christ our worship and praise and thanksgiving, to make confession of our sins, to pray as well for others as for ourselves, that we may know more truly the greatness of God's love and show forth in our lives the fruits of his grace, and to ask on behalf of all such things as their well-being doth require. Wherefore, as we gather together in silence, let us remember God's presence with us now. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults. Restore thou them that are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind, in Christ Jesus you are Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Grant we beseech thee, merciful Lord, to thy faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve thee with a quiet mind, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they do not know my ways and to whom I swore in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Just going to have a quick check to see, to see which um, psalm has been particularly appointed for today. Probably not one that's on here actually. No, not one that's on here. So we're going to we're going to use Psalm um, for for BCP. It's different. The Psalms are quite often different. The readings aren't, but the Psalms are. So we're going to use Psalm eighty six. Psalm eighty six. Bow down thine ear, O Lord, and hear me. For I am poor and in misery. Preserve thou my soul, for I am holy. My God, save thy servant that putteth his trust in thee. Be merciful unto me, O Lord, for I will call daily upon thee. Comfort the soul of thy servant, for unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. For thou, Lord, art good and gracious and of great mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear, Lord, unto my prayer, and ponder the voice of my humble desires. In the time of my trouble I will call upon thee, for thou hearest me. Among the gods there is none like unto thee, O Lord. There is not one that can do as thou dost. All nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great, and doest wondrous things. Thou art God alone. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and I will walk in thy truth. O knit my heart unto thee, that I may fear thy name. I will thank thee, O Lord my God, with all my heart and will praise thy name for evermore. For great is thy mercy toward me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the nethermost hell. O oh God, the proud are risen against me, and the congregations of naughty men have sought after my soul, and have not set thee before their eyes. But thou, O Lord God, art full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering, 
plenteous in goodness and truth. O turn thee then unto me, and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant, and help the son of thine handmaid. Show some token upon me for good, that they who hate me may see it, and be ashamed, because thou, Lord, hast hope in me, and comforted me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Uh, again, I apologise for my pronunciation. I think, um, I'm not sure, it, I, I don't quite know what I, D-O-E-S-T, can't remember what I said first time, but the second time I think I said it right with doest. Uh, I think it might sound like doused or something like that I might have said before. Uh, and I love that idea, um, I love the language of the King James Version sometimes, where it's mentioned right, the congregations of naughty men. Of course, it should be the congregations of naughty people. The idea of naughty. Um, If you would like to read the Old Testament reading, whether it's in the King, King James Version or in the, I think it's the NRSV Version, um, in uh, whatever version you wish, um, it is from Ezekiel chapter 14, verses 1 to 11. Ezekiel 14, 1 to 11. We're going to move on to the Today in Wilderness. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All earth, earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are full of thy majesty and of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee. The father of an infinite majesty, thine honourable, true and only son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hast overcome the sharpness of death, Thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God, in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Govern them and lift them up for ever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name, ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep this day without sin. Keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. We move on to our New Testament reading. I'm going to continue to read uh, from, the, from the King James Version. And it's 2 Corinthians chapter 10. 2 Corinthians chapter 10. Now I, Paul, myself, beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ, who in presence am base among you, but being absent am bold toward you. But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence wherewith I think to be bold against some, which think of us as if we walked according to the flesh. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to pulling, pulling down of strongholds. Casting down imaginations 
and every high thing that exalteth in, exalteth in itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into capta captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ, and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience where your obedience is fulfilled. Do you look on things after the outward appearance? If any man trusts to himself that he, he is Christ's, let him of himself think this again. That is, as he, as he is, as he is Christ's, even so are we Christ's. For though I should boast somewhat more of our authority, which the Lord hath given us for, for edification, and not for, our destruction, for your destruction, I should not be ashamed, that I may not seem as if I would terrify you by letters. For his letters, say they, are weighty and powerful, but his bod bodily presence is weak and his speech com contemptible. Sorry. Let such, and one, let such and one think this, that, such as we are in word by letters, when we are absent, such we will, we will be also indeed when we are present. For we dare not make ourselves of the number, or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves. But they measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves are not wise. But we will not boast of things without our measure, but according to the measure of the rule which God hath hath distributed to us, a measure to reach even unto you. For we stretch not ourselves beyond our measure, as though we have we reach not unto you. For we are come as far as to you, to you also in preaching the gospel. Not boasting of things without our measure, that is, of other man's labours, but having hope, when your faith is increased, that we shall be enlarged by you according to our rule abundantly, to preach the gospel in the regions beyond you, and not to boast in another man's line of things made ready to our hand. But he that glorieth, glorieth let him glory in the Lord. For not that condemneth, commendeth himself his approved, but, when, but whom the Lord commendeth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I'm going to read it again, but using the version in the um, more contemporary language and uh, see whether it's any clearer. Got myself really tongue tied a little bit there. Paul's writing and grammar can be quite difficult sometimes to to comprehend. I can get tongue-tied at the best of times, so let's try again. I myself, Paul, appeal to you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ. I, who am humble when face to face with you, but bold towards you when I am away. I ask that when I am present, I need not show boldness by daring to oppose those who think we are acting according to human standards. Indeed, we live as human beings, but we do not wage war according to human standards, for the weapons of our warfare are not merely human, but they have divine power to destroy strongholds. We destroy arguments and every proud obstacle raised up against the knowledge of God, and we take every thought captive to obey Christ. We are ready to punish every disobedience when your, when your obedience is complete. Look at what is before your eyes. If you are confident that you belong to Christ, remind yourself of this, that just as you belong to Christ, so also do we. Now even if I boast a little too much of our authority, which the Lord gave for building you up and not for tearing you down, I will not be ashamed of it. I do not want to seem as though I am trying to frighten you with my letters, for they say, his letters are weighty and strong, but his bodily presence is weak and his speech contemptible. Let such people understand that what we say by letter when absent, we will also do with, well, when present. 
We do not dare to classify or compare ourselves with some of those who commend themselves. But when they measure themselves by one another, and compare themselves with one another, they do not show good sense. We, however, will not boast beyond our limits, or beyond limits, but we will keep within the field that, that God has assigned to us, to reach out even as far as you. For we were not overstepping our limits when we reached you. We were the first to come all the way to you with the good news of Christ. We do not boast beyond limits, that is, in the labour of others, but our hope is that, as your faith increases, our sphere of action among you may be greatly enlarged, so that we may proclaim the good news in lands beyond you. Without boasting of work already done in someone else's sphere of action, let the one who boasts boast in the Lord, for it is not those who commend themselves that are approved, but those whom the Lord commends. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I think it was a bit clearer um, in the more contemporary version. It's just, it's just, I guess it's a, just a different language almost. And um, I cannot speak any Spanish. I can speak just a little bit. Uh, I'm learning to speak a bit of French can't speak any Egyptian or anything like that and I think the same goes over time King James Version is uh, a wonderful version very poetic and some wonderful language especially in the poetry and in the Psalms which I really appreciate um, but just occasionally it's not something which I particularly uh, understand so um, as I say, Paul speaks in a way that might be quite difficult to comprehend sometimes anyway. Um, so it's good to hear, it is good to hear different versions. I'm just going to read the reflection uh, written by Andrew Davison. Oh, this, this opening sentence kind of may sum it up a little bit. This is not among Paul's clearest passages of writing, but this torrent of prose is witness to the depths of his care for the Corinthian church, absent from them. Paul is aware of newcomers on the scene of the church leadership who are trying to take authority for the congregation he so loves. Congregations that these newcomers did not found themselves. What is more, those leaders are boasting about their abilities and running Paul down. Not least with the crushing line, his letters are weighty and strong, but his bodily presence is weak and his speech contemptible. 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 There is a good deal of heightened emotion here and plenty of rhetoric. And we might also think that the situation is rather specific and unlike our own. Paul, however, sets out some maxims that apply far more widely, which we might take to heart. Let the overarching principle in dealing with others be to build up, not to pull down. Beware exalting ourselves, but also do not be ashamed. Let your confidence be in God, and let God be the one whose commendation we seek. Acknowledge that we have a sphere or field, and look to do what is praiseworthy within that. Don't be jealous of the success of others, others elsewhere. Sometimes, in dealing with arrogant people, a little sarcasm, sarcasm does not go amiss. We have this collect. Creator God, you made us all in your image. May we discern you in all that we see and serve you in all that we do. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. by a bit as you unpick it it becomes clearer when you understand the context of where who Paul was writing to um, but we can learn lessons from that I love that idea of let God be the one whose commendation that we seek 
acknowledge that we have a sphere and a field that we have been assigned to and look to do what is praiseworthy in that and not to be jealous of others in their success and in their work for God to build up not to pull down Return to our, excuse me, a certain amount of um, tablet gymnastics as I press different buttons and try to get them to do the right thing. I'm going to press another button now for the Jubilate Deo, Psalm 100. I'll be joyful in the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Be sure that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. O oh, go your way into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth from generation to generation. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Use the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Collect for today. O God, who has prepared for them that love, that love thee such good things as pass our understanding, pour into our hearts such love towards thee, that we, loving thee above all things, may obtain thy promises, 
which exceed all that we can desire through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, the all art, who art the author of peace and the lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, humble, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance, to do always that is righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. continue in prayer we have a excuse me yeah, let's continue in prayer dear Lord and Father we thank you for this day we thank you for the sunshine and the warmth that we are witness to if we're in this country we lift before you, dear Father, the joys that we have this day, and we give you thanks. We lift before you, dear Father, the challenges that we have this day, and we lift before you our anxieties and our worries. We pray for your wisdom and your spirit to inspire us to guide us. Pray for your presence to strengthen us. We pray for your comfort, Lord, to ease any anxieties, or maybe even to soften our hearts as we relax in your presence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank you, dear Father, for those things you have blessed us with. Help us to be always mindful of them, to be grateful of them. We pray, dear Father, that we will always... Um, look and count our blessings maybe even numbering them one by one help us Lord as in our church prayer as we rem are reminded of our blessings help us be, to be ready to bless others to bless others in your name and we pray, dear Father, for your church. Your church here in uh, South Marston, Stanton and Stratton. Across our town, across the nation, across the world. We pray that it will be a church that brings blessings and brings good news. Help us to, to be a people who build each other up. Help us to be a people of righteousness, justice and peace. And help us, Lord, to be the only thing that we pull down are unrighteousness and conflict. Help us to build your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give you thanks, Lord, for all of those on whom we depend for our daily needs. For all of those, dear Father, that, uh, that work so hard 
to ensure that we are fed, that we have food in our cupboards, or those that work from field to fork, or even from factory to fork. We lift before you, dear Father, on, on who, uh, for all of those that ensure that uh, we're able to move around. All of those on whom we depend for our health needs. All those that we depend on for our education. All those that look after young ones. We give you thanks, Lord, for the service of others. We pray, dear Father, for all of those who have to make decisions this day. And we pray that they may do so with wisdom. Not from some political slant one way or the other. But through wisdom. And those that challenge them, we pray that they will, may challenge them, but again, not through political slant, but challenge to ask the questions, to seek clarity. We pray, dear Father, for women and men of righteousness, justice and wisdom We ask that, Lord, across the world, your will will be done. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And loving God, we lift before you all those whom are on our hearts. We live before you, dear Father, all those who we are concerned about. We live before you, dear Father, all those who need to feel your healing touch this day and your presence, all those suffering in body, mind or spirit. And we name just some of them. Trudy. Mark, Addie, William, Pauline, Linda, Roy, Stuart, Beryl, Eunice, George, Bob, Mary, John, Mary, Jordan, Mary, Leslie, Wendy, Natalie, John, Janet, Annette, Jim, Joe and the family, John, Liz, Dave and the family, Daniel, Peter, Hazel, Shane, Tilly, Jan, Linda and her family, Chris, pray for little Oliver and also his parents, just uh, double check the name, make sure I give the, the right name, for Danielle and for Chris, pray for them particularly at this time when they were expecting to go for, for Oliver to go for an operation but uh, that has had to be postponed, pray for his health and pray for all of them at this challenging time. For Anna, for Angela, for Mary, Roger, Chris, Martina and her mum Trudel and all their family, Andy, Catherine, Anne, Sarah, 
Nicholas, Martin, Pat, Jeff, Hilary, June, Tom, Julie. Pray for Esme. She awaits a pacemaker to be fitted. Nilva and family. For Len. For Margaret's family. Finley. John and Val. Peter and Bridget. And for Nina's family. And for all those who are on our hearts this day. Who for today when the sun is shining. It, there are still perhaps clouds. That might be they feel surrounding them. May they feel your healing touch Lord. May they feel you and recognize your presence with them this day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And loving God, we thank you for this day. Pray that you might take us and use us to bring your hope and your joy to this world. Merciful Father, Accept our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. I hope you have a wonderful day today and uh, I hope you get a chance to enjoy the sunshine but maybe not too much or maybe well protected uh, and I look forward to that time when we'll be together again soon so may God bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you uh, let's say let's say the church prayer may the Lord bless us and keep us and make his face to shine upon us help us to be a blessing to each other and our communities that your ways may be known among us let all the peoples praise you O oh God let all the peoples praise you Amen, 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 Amen. God bless you. I'll see you soon.